When you think of the U.S. interstate highway system, you think of fast-moving cars. Cars going 60, 70, even 80 miles an hour sometimes. You only have to stop if you need to get off at your exit. Cars move quickly and traffic is efficient. So, why do some U.S. interstates have stoplights? And do some people have addresses that are right on the highway? Are people's houses or driveways right on the highway? Welcome to Map Challenge, and today we're looking at interstates that have driveways and stoplights. Nowadays, you can get from New York City to Los Angeles in about 41 hours, or if you're an overachiever, you can do it in just under 26 hours, which is the current record. But it wasn't always like that. Back about 100 years ago, roads probably looked a bit more like this, or like this. They were not good roads. In the 1920s, it would probably take you a few weeks, if not more, to drive across the country. Roads just weren't that good back then. So the leaders of the day decided to change that and try to make the country more connected. The Federal Aid Road Act of 1916, along with the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1921, helped improve U.S. roads. But the law that brought the highways that we know today was the Federal Highway Act of 1956. That law provided for interstate construction funds to build 41,000 miles of road, and it was later increased to 43,000 miles of road. Today, 42,795,000 miles of that road has been used. And due to various factors, for some reason, some of these interstates are not really like interstates. Like, for example, we have Interstate I-80 here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Interstate I-80 is only about one mile long, and it has four stoplights on it. Not really what you think of when you think of an interstate. But it runs right through the southern part of downtown Cheyenne, Wyoming, and goes into the northern part of downtown Cheyenne. So, after reading a little bit into why this U.S. interstate is not really an interstate. It basically looks like there were various proposals back in the day uh, to possibly build a tunnel and also build some bridges, but simply it cost too much and the people back in the 60s and 70s decided we are just going to do this. Um, and it worked out for the state of Wyoming because they got to use interstate highway funds to build this road. So it worked out in the end for them but still not your normal connected interstate. We have another example here of I-585 in Spartanburg, South Carolina. This one's a little different because technically the whole part of the highway of I-585 does seem to be highway, um, but this one isn't like your normal highway. It does just end at a stoplight right here and the road just becomes a different road. It becomes Pine Street there at that intersection uh, but not your normal interstate where it would like lead on to a different interstate it just ends right there at the stoplight all right so we've seen some parts of the interstate where there's stoplights now let's look at some parts of the interstate where there's no exit but you can just turn off onto a road now this one here is in north carolina on i-40 we have hurricane creek drive actually Hurricane Creek Road, uh, you just turn off right off the highway right there. And then the road goes over here and you can see there is a house here or some sort of property, uh, which is why I think they have this road that you can get on right off the interstate. Um, the road does keep going and it does connect to some other very rural country roads, but I can definitely see why they allow this road here uh, just because if these people had to go take the other way to get there, it would take hours for those people to get to their house if they couldn't go on the highway. Unfortunately, the Google car did not go down that road. I was pretty disappointed in that. Um, but we can see the entrance to it here. Um, there it is. You just turn off right there onto Hurricane Creek Road. Um... For those people who live there, I don't know if there's any other reason why people would need to go down that road. There's no warning 
So I guess if you live there or you need to go that way, you just got to know it's coming and turn off on that spot right there. Now this was a good find because it is pretty unique. These people live right off the highway. Um, but their address is not actually the highway. Like their address is probably something Hurricane Creek Road. So I wanted to find if somebody's address is actually the highway. Enter I-15 in California in the middle of the desert. We have somebody's driveway. Um, I can't really tell if this is like a group of houses or a business, but it is a place where you can send mail. So I don't know if somebody lives here or not, um, but it does look like you could send a letter here and somebody could get mail and here's their address. It would be on Highway 15. So I was able to find somebody or a business someplace their address is on the highway which to me was quite interesting. So there you have it. You can have an address on the highway. You can also have stoplights on the highway, apparently. There are lots of other interesting things on U.S. highways. Let me know if you know any, and please subscribe. Thank you for watching.